Hello crocheters, it's me Valerie from Old Soul Crochet Company and it has been a while. Like it's been so long in fact like I've had a pixie cut for about a year now and this is going to be the first time most of you guys see it. Not that that's really the end of the world but you know it, it's a thing. I look a little different than I used to. Um, so why has it been so long? Two things. Number one, uh, most of you guys know I had a baby boy in February of 2021 and having two children has been so much more busy and time consuming than having one. I just was not prepared. Um, also like my first child, she started sleeping through the night like at three months and she always took like really good naps and so I just thought that's what was going to happen again. I mean, everyone knows that's not how it works. Anyway, parenting is great and it is hard. <laughs> it is both at the same time. Um, and it's, it's taken a lot. Um, and then the second thing is I have definitely had burnout. I didn't realize how much until like, because I had my son, I had to just take a break cause I just didn't have time. And and, and like being able to lay down the crochet hook for a couple of months helped me to realize like, wow, over the last, you know, couple of years, every like scrap of creative energy I've had, I have just pushed into crocheting. And, and I am a very creative person, you know, dyed it into just crocheting and I crocheted a lot. And I really am proud of the work that I've done. Um, but I also needed a break. I needed a long break. And in fact, I don't know if I'm really ready yet to start crocheting again. <laughs> so now you're thinking like, why is she making this video? What is this about? Okay, here's what this is about. I have been doing, because I am a creative person, I can't not create or I will like die. <laughs> it, just, it just like sucks the, the joy of life out of me if I can't be making things. Um, so I have, I've been making kind of, you know, different things, different projects, different gifts for people over the time that we haven't been, you know, I haven't been making videos and you guys haven't been commenting cause we, we haven't been talking to each other cause I've been just gone. Anyway, I have, my latest thing has been trying to kind of work on this office space. It has just been so cram full of everything. Um, that I, you know, I, even coming in here, I would feel like I didn't want to create anything in here. It was just too cluttered and too messy. And so that's what I've been working on. And one of the projects I've done recently is this wall. And I want to tell you guys about it because it was really enjoyable and it's not crocheting at all, but I want to invite you guys to just, I don't know, come try this one random different vlog with me and we'll see how it goes. And if you guys don't like it, um, well, then we won't do more non crochet things. But if you guys are up for it, like I, I'd love to kind of take you with me on my different projects that I make that are maybe not crochet specific. So, I mean, this could be like a, when I'm not crocheting vlog. Um, and I do believe that as I continue to let myself not just crochet, not force all of my creativity into that sort of like pigeonhole of crochet, that, that my crojo will come back faster because it'll, it'll come from a natural place instead of like a, a place of force. So let me tell you guys about this wall. I needed to repaint this wall because it was, you know, kind of full of pock marked holes from when I had a floating shelf on it and you can see the yeah it wasn't good and I was going to just repaint it the same green color because I love it but um I found out that paint doesn't reconstitute well if it's been frozen over the winter and that happened so just repainting it was not an option and my sister-in-law has this t-shirt uh, with these lemons on it. And I thought it was so cute. So it's kind of been like stuck in the back of my mind of like, this is 
a really cute pattern because it reads like a floral without being strictly a floral. And I like floral things, like I'm kind of girly. And so, so, so I like that, but I didn't want it to just be like straight up flowers. First off, flowers are kind of hard to paint, especially roses, at least for me. And I love the idea of doing this like freehand wallpaper mural. It's not really wallpaper, but you know, it kind of has like a wallpaper feel to it on my wall. So the first thing I had to do was find inspiration and I found this wallpaper you can actually buy, um, it, you know, if you want to. I decided not to because I really wanted to paint on my walls and also I, I didn't like the repeat on this pattern. I thought it was, you know, on this wallpaper, I thought it was too close. It, it kind of kind of got to me after a while. Um, so I, I just used it as inspiration because I really needed a starting point and I started you know, I did a little painted swatch of it to see if I could figure it out. And then I started sketching on the walls. And once I got all of the sketching done, um, I was able to start with the painting. Since I mostly have nap times to be doing these things and my son is not the best sleeper in the world, I kind of have to move fast. So I decided to make stencils out of, out of a sponge that I got at the dollar store. And I actually really loved how it turned out because first off, I was able to get a lot of paint on the walls really quickly. But secondly, the sponge kind of left that orange peel, I mean, lemon peel texture very naturally, which was great. Um, I loved the effect. I did also make some leaf stencils and I didn't like those as much because, I mean, I, I liked that the color got on there and that was so dark so fast. Um, and I'm one of the things I'm also trying to do here in my color scheme is I got this really uh, beautiful dark green rug uh, a little while back and I wanted to kind of pull that in there. So having that dark green on the wall, the dark green on the floor, I wanted to sort of bring in this like lush and like kind of deep gorgeous summery feel. Um, and so I, so I wanted to tie those in. So I like the stencil for that because it got the color there really quickly. But the lemon peel texture on the leaves, I, I just don't think it reads as well. So I didn't really like that. But um, once I kind of got this, it looks kind of polka dotty at first, but you know, there's these polka dot lemons going on. <laughs> then I started in with the branches and adding the branches, then adding the leaves. And this took... It took quite a few nap times actually and I did try hard to like not work on it when my kids could see me. I mean my my daughter who's five like she's pretty reasonable. I, I can talk to her and be like all right yes I'm painting on my wall but that doesn't mean you get to paint on my walls. My son however who's one and a half was like yeah we're painting on the walls. A couple of times he stole my paintbrush when I was doing it when he was awake so yeah I hope I don't come to regret that later in life, but I might anyway. Um, yeah. So this was really fun, really, really fun to do. Um, the hardest thing probably for me was getting the flowers. I don't know that they, like these lemon blossoms, I don't know if they really look that good, but overall I am so pleased with how this wall turned out. Um, just, just, I, I love like the pop of color in the room. Um, and also I got this chair shortly after I got the lemons painted because it has a yellow seat and I, I it's just so fun to kind of tie in, in these different colors. Um, my, I went to university actually for interior design, but I've never actually worked in the field right after I graduated. I got hired by an architecture firm. Just choosing to be like, I am going to work on my space and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do these fun things. I'm going to put pattern on my wall and I'm going to paint it myself and I'm going to, you know, get a chair with a yellow seat and I'm going to match it and I'm, you know, on my dark green rug. It's has been so fun for me. So good for the creative, like enjoyable side of life. It has been just lovely. Um, and then the last thing I got, the sort of crowning moment on this wall, um, my dear friend, Catherine, made an old soul crochet company sign for me and i 
love it. I mean, she, she did it all by herself. She cut out the pieces with a scroll saw, I believe, and like glued it all on and she stained the wood and it's, like I'm so pleased with how this wall has turned out with the sign and everything. It's it's brought me so much joy, not only to make it, but to just have it in this space, to have the, the color, the pattern, and to just feel like, yes, I made something beautiful. Editing Valerie here just forgot to mention that I highly recommend painting on your walls. It is so enjoyable and I think like my like 10 year old self was just like giddy with glee about the fact that I was painting on my walls when it's you know something that as a kid you can't do um so yeah I, I mean it they're your walls do what you want and it's incredibly fun so highly highly encourage it um so if you guys are interested in more of this style of content let me know in the comments below if you're like nah let's just do crocheting. Also, let me know in the comments. I'll go through and read them and see what you guys think. I think it would be really fun to bring you along on more of these adventures, I guess, that are not strictly um, crocheting. But let me know what you guys think. And until I see you guys next time, make something beautiful.